Hi, this is Bob from BSG Systems. I'm here to talk to you today about our BMX start gate system. At BSG Systems, we set out to design and build an affordable uh, start gate system for home use. Our system is designed primarily for home use, providing the rider with the same experience he gets at the track. So, let's get into it and uh, I'll show you our system. Okay, so, first thing we have, let's go through the box. Let's take a look at it. Um, this system is fully UCI compliant. Uh, we made sure we followed the UCI standards on this system. This box is powered off 12 volt DC. You connect your power here on the end. This will connect to a car battery, a battery charger, a anything that provides 12 volts of power. Then you have connection for your light tree, your push button, volume control, speaker. These connectors here connect to your start gate, your magnet. This is any type of 12 volt uh, signal that you need to drop your gate, whether it's a 12 volt latching system, a magnet system, or even a 12 volt uh, solenoid. And then the last thing you have here is a gate timing. A lot of the electromagnets out there have different discharge times. So we felt it was important for you to be able to customize the timing between the fourth tone and green light and when the gate actually drops with the magnet. So with this you can adjust that timing and get it right on the money so your rider has perfect experience. Um, the last thing you'll see here, this is our power port and I'll explain a little bit on that uh, later on when I talk about the power box. All right. The next thing we have is the light tree. Right. This is follows the standard UCI light code, red, yellow, yellow, green. Uh, nice small box. Has a quarter inch uh, mounting hole here so you can mount it on quarter inch all thread. Um, anything else is quarter inch or more importantly you can just put it on any standard tripod. Um, on the back here this is where the cable connects from the cadence control box and you also have the ability sound to plug your sound in here so that um, it's away and mounted uh, with the light tree. Uh, speaking of which, the system also includes a PA horn for the system and it attaches to the light box if you want simply with a set of screws lock it in place and you just plug it in to your light tree here. Uh, we also provide custom cable lengths. Our standard lengths are 15 and 25 feet and if you want something different you let us just let us know and we'll be happy to make it and it just depends on how far away you want to mount your your lights. Alright and it's simple it plugs into the, the cadence box to the light tree you get both light control and audio if you want it. All right, next what we have is to control the system, we use a simple push button on a standard quarter inch audio jack. Uh, that way it's easy enough to change out the cable if it's bad. You can use a simple audio cable, plugs into the box here, and you plug your switch in there, and you've got your push button. Another important feature, good feature to our Stargate system if you don't want to mess with that cable, you don't want to deal with it, we also provide our system with a remote control push button. So you can utilize this to start and abort and everything else you need to do. So that is our basic 12 volt system for running uh, 12 volt uh, magnets, latch systems, 12 volt solenoids. Now, if you find yourself with a 120 volt, you know, start gate system, actual start gate. Uh, we also provide a power unit um, that will let you run this whole system and uh, off 120 volts and control 120 volt uh, uh, air ram solenoid. So what I have here, this is the BSG power unit. Right? It um, have our power port that connects from here to the side of the control box with a small cable 
We can customize that length for whatever you need, whatever you feel you need, the distance you want between them. And it also has uh, your choice depending on, on your gate system. We have direct control or reverse control. Basically that has to do with when the power is on, is the gate up or is the gate down? And you can switch that with this key or with this button. So simply with this one, again, you plug this into your extension cord. You should probably use a GFI connection when you're outdoors. You connect this into your start gate to the solenoid that drives your gate. You take your connector, plug it in there, and then you plug it into a control system. Now, when you're using when you're using the power unit, you do not need to connect uh, the control box to a 12 volt power supply. The power unit provides that as well. So even if you're just using a 12 volt system with a magnet or a 12 volt latching system, and you don't need the output to a 120 volt system, you can still utilize this box to power the control unit. Well, that's about it for uh, what we have here. Um, feel free to post back if you've got any questions, and um, like us on Facebook. Thanks.